In this video, we are going to look at the second analysis or the second distribution of overheads. So, this one, like the primary one, is the first apportionment. Then, for secondary, it involves something like reapportionment or redistribution. So, here we are distributing the costs that were incurred by the service departments to the production departments. So, like the costs that were incurred by the canteen and maintenance, we distribute them to the other departments like the chopping, finishing, and grinding. So it involves charging support center costs to production centers. We are redistributing the costs that were incurred by the service departments, also known as the support departments, to the production departments or the production centers. So sometimes depending on the method that is being used sometimes like the support centers can service each other yeah, sometimes they service each other yeah so support centers do not themselves manufacture anything but they facilitate the production centers to manufacture so they just help the production centers to work for example the canteen can be giving it to the employees so it is just supporting but it is not directly involved in the manufacturing so this secondary distribution or secondary analysis ensures that all overheads incurred in production support centers are directly identified with the production centers that's why we redistribute them and we share them so there are four methods that are used to reapportion support center overheads to production centers so we have four methods that we use and the first one is the direct method yeah you should read these carefully because they are going to help us when we are dealing with examples on this so we have the direct method so this this one apportions overheads in support sub, support centers to only production centers so meaning the overheads of the canteen will only be distributed to the production centers like the finishing grinding and chopping only then it is simple and easy to understand however it does not recognize inter-servicing among support centers so the canteen cannot service the maintenance or the maintenance cannot service the canteen so it does not recognize the inter-servicing but it is easy to use yeah we only reapportion to production centers that is the direct method then the second method we have is the elimination also known as stepwise or step down method so for this one it apportions overheads from service departments with uh, the highest primary service totals first to all the other departments. So you first look at the service departments, for example, canteen and maintenance, you see which one has the highest totals. And that is what you reapportion first. Then the other one comes last. Then move downward based on primary totals and distribute the new totals in the service department which have not yet distributed their overheads there is no distributing to service departments which have already distributed so for elimination you cannot distribute what has already distributed so meaning if canteen has already distributed you cannot distribute to canteen again but this one allows it allows inter-servicing among support centers but just that you cannot distribute what has already been distributed so that is the elimination method you start with the highest you go to the lowest then another method we have is oh sorry another instruction does not fully recognize that service departments service each other does not fully but it partly allows 
the servicing of each department we we are going to see it then under this method the sequence of distribution starts first with the service department that provides the greatest service as measured by costs since we start with the one with the highest costs then we go to the one with the lowest that is the elimination then another one you have is the continuous or the repeated distribution of vicious cycle method so this one recognizes that service department service each other also distributes service departments with the highest amount first moving downwards just like the elimination method also the department which has already distributed receives so this is the contrary to the elimination to the elimination the department that has already distributed doesn't receive but here the department that has already distributed receives that is the continuous then the process is continuous until the overheads in the service departments are zero or negligible then uh, it is time consuming since you even redistribute what has already distributed so it's kind of time consuming so that is the continuous method then another method we have is the algebraic or the simultaneous or matrix method so this one uses simultaneous or algebraic and recognizes the service departments inter service each other so the equations are derived by getting what the service center has plus what it receives from fellow service centers so here we, we come up with equations we are going to see that in an example then uh, it is preferable where the accounting system is computerized because you can't be doing those equations all the all the time then uh, it derives accurate results close to those of the above so that is the algebraic yeah so those are the rules that we are going to be following so we are going to look at an example in the next video thanks for watching